Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel here, it's Mac. And welcome back to another uh, Let's Play of Panzer Battles. Battles of Kursk, the Southern Flank. Part of the uh, Wargame Design Studio series, the Panzer Battles. So the um, title there between Panzer Campaigns and Squad Battles, you, you could say. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so I've showcased this game before on the channel, but I'm actually doing a requested scenario for this Let's Play. Uh, one of my viewers wrote some time back, I'm pretty slow on picking up my requests, so I'm um, sorry about that, but uh, wanted me to play uh, one of the scenarios from this game, and I'm going to do it and see how well I do. It's, it's supposed to be a pretty hard scenario, uh, so let's give it a go. It's called, um, I think it's this one here, Cemetery, let's see, yeah, Where the Panthers Come to Die. 30 turns. Designer is David Freer. Yeah, so this is very, very interesting. Um, it's part of the, the first day of attacks there in the southern flank of the, the Kursk, you know, the, the, this, the Operation Citadel there. So, it's intended to play as Axis Human versus the AI or a head to head battle. But I'm going to duke it out versus the AI because the AI is going to be defending. It's usually performing a bit better than uh, when it's going to advance and stuff. So, we we'll see how it goes. So the scenario briefing is uh, Panzergrenadier Division Großdeutschland, commanded by General Leutnant Walter Hörnelein, Hörnelin, was arguably the strongest division the Germans fielded at Kursk. The attached Panzer Regiment 39 boosted the total Panzer count to nearly 300 tanks, similar to the total number of Panzers in the whole of the Second SS Panzer Corps. Hörnelin's plans were simple: lead with his armor over narrow frontage and smash a hole through the Soviet defenses. Once penetrated, it will be easy to use the, the Panzer Grenadiers to roll up the remaining Soviet positions. This strategy was counted opposite to the SS, who used their Grenadiers to create breach and only then released their armor to exploit the breakthrough. So this is kind of a reverse tactics here. The cost of the uh, different mythologies uh, would be amply shown in the first day of battle. All right, interesting. So we'll see how that goes. Um, right, so there's actually, we have a look at the, uh, so this is the, in the, in the, um, almighty, uh, notes, uh, there, here it is. So it's actually the same description here as it is in the actual, um, in the, in the file as well. So yeah, here we have the, so it's this particular battle here, this narrow frontage smashing into there. And I actually have uh, this Osprey publishing book um, that I bought in PDF. It's really handy. I usually do that. It's, it's actually a good tip uh, for you get, uh, want to deep, dive deep into the uh, battles. The Osprey publishing is really good, man. It, particularly on specific operations and battles and stuff. Um, they have some really good uh, PDFs that you can uh, buy. I mean, it's the book, but um, you can buy them in digital form as well. And um, so this actually explains the act, what the hell happened here at this particular front. Uh, so we're going to be doing the Panzer, let's have a look at Panzer Fusilier Regiment, Cross Deutschland, and Panzer Regiment 39. So they advanced here. Uh, and close by was the Grenadier Regiment, Cross Deutschland, and Panzer Regiment, Cross Deutschland. So we're not actually doing the, I don't think we are, I think we're doing this attack here. Um, so we're going to be smashing through here, and then, the, of course, was the big showdown here at Sherka Um But they were in for a nasty surprise. It was such a bad planning, this, uh, the Citadel, man. It was just, uh, it was just so bad that they wasted all them, those good tanks and divisions in such a pointless slaughter. It's just such well-prepared positions by the Russians. They had months to prepare for that. Uh, pillboxes and bunkers everywhere, minefields all over the place, and tank guns everywhere. I mean, it was a nightmare to advance there. It must have been such hell. Uh, right, so we're going to fire that up here. Let's see. All right. Um, okay. Uh, Russians will be automatic with fog of war. We're going to be the... Uh, that's what it's supposed to be here. Rules. Uh, let's go with D. It doesn't say, so I'll, I'll think I'll go with the default. Um, default rules here why not um, doesn't spe specify that you should use any other rules so um, let's kick it off and see what happens all right here we go 
Air units are available. Yes, yeah, so the Germans uh, enjoyed some air superiority at the start, uh, but they took some heavy losses with their um, with their um, the the, the uh, Luftwaffe. There took some heavy losses as well because the Russians were pumping in planes as well. Uh, so we got one thirty there. All right, smoke available twenty. Good to know. So we're probably going to be needing a lot of smoke in this. So here we are. Okay, so we got the um, Hill two three nine there cemetery okay so this oh, look at this massive anti-tank ditch here yeah it's a ditch uh, so we're gonna have to use engineers to, to breach them destroy them to be able to get our tanks to get across here it's gonna be hell and there's question marks all over the place by the looks of it there's another hill here so this is probably gonna be dominated with some nasties there's something down over here and and this hill here all right what do we got what do we got at our disposal? Where's the main man here? Here we go. Um, the, the Fusilier Regiment, Deutschland. All right, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, he's in charge of everything, except the pioneers there. Well, some of them, all right. What do we got here? Obus Lorenz, all right. So they're badass. I mean, they're gonna be needing this morale, A. Eh? <laughs> because they could, we're gonna take some heavy casualties here, as they did historically, man. They were like moving here, they were ripped to shreds man but even though they managed they actually managed so this should be a success uh, historically because they managed to punch a hole through here and i think even they bypassed some of these uh to get to the um the main event up there the shiskakoya uh, village there uh but this is going to be a slug fest for sure man it's going to be frustrating lots of minefields constant barrage of russian artillery and harassment of anti-tank guns and stuff all right, so where we go? Uh, we got it. Yeah, we have the main man there. He has a uh, reconnaissance unit there, which would really want to have in the front. All right, what we got on our flank? So we have a um, probably getting into a battalion here, uh, Fusilier Regiment. All right, so they're all ready to go. I wonder what these guys belong to then. Uh, they also passed English. Uh, Gross Deutschland there. Wonder who's in charge of them. Since not even him, he's not even in charge. They must be loaned in from somewhere else. Yeah. What does it say here? Oh yeah, this is the Fusilier Regiment. Okay, so these guys are actually part of the Gross Deutschland division. So they're actually used here as well. Interesting. So there's quite a few of them here. All right. Okay, what kind of other headquarters we have? Big headquarters. What's this? Yeah, so that's the regiment there. We have one regiment there. What else? Here's something. There's another Fusilier regiment there. We have bridge builders. Could be good. Now, when it comes to ditches, I'm, I have. I think you do, if you have engineers, they can destroy them, sort of break, uh, and then you can pass through. But maybe we have to lay bridges. Since we have these bridge laying units, could be the case. Uh, what does it say on these guys? Mine clear, it says. Okay, maybe they are not able to uh, destroy mine. They're just mine clearing engineers. We'll see when we get up there if we can destroy it. Or we're gonna have to use our our bridge layers to get get some bridges going there. We have some noble warfers. That's nice. Uh, only six guns there, and we have a few anti-tank guns here and there. A mortar support. All right, we have something here. We have mortar threes. Ooh, open topped. They are very vulnerable to artillery, and uh, they have good range. They have uh, twelve range versus soft. We're probably going to be encountering a lot of soft targets, but even hard. I guess the bunkers are going to be. They're gonna be hard targets. What's this? We have, oh yeah, these guys, these are good. These are called, like, I think they're called grills or something. Um, these self-propelled with 15 centimeter guns, man. They're pretty badass, blowing blowing things up. So we got, and I think we probably will have something coming in here scheduled. Yeah, we have lots of stuff coming in here, All right? So what time is it here? Let's see. Starts at seven o'clock, the fifth of July, nineteen forty-three. There, five, seven o'clock. All right. Scheduled. All right, eight o'clock. We're gonna get Panzer Kolon. All right. Cross Deutsch. I'm gonna get some tanks. Eight o'clock. 
so that's an, I think every turn is half an hour in um, in um, Panzer Battles there. Um, Alright, we're gonna get some stuff there at 8 and then 8.30 we're gonna get some more Panzers. And there's a big jump to 11 o'clock. We're gonna get... I think we're gonna get some heavy Panzers there. We might get our Panthers and stuff. We'll see what, what pops up here. Interesting. Um, right. What about the almighty parameter data? Let's have a look at that. So dawn is at 5, okay. And dusk is at 10 o'clock. 30 minute turns, yeah. Night turns are 60 minutes. And it has a dawn. And you can see that it has a dawn and dusk. Stacking limits is 75 men uh, on the road. And 250 men in the hex. Okay, that's interesting. Um... What else? We need bridge values. Ooh, 50%? That's bad. Okay. That's not the best. Okay, what else? Your limitations. Artillery values. Uh, stockpile 150 there. Okay, so we have better artillery values. Uh, combat losses per 1,000 combat value, okay. Terrain features, wow, there's so much stuff in here, man, it's nuts. What's in the very end? Combat modifiers, okay, yeah, all right. Sort of controls, okay. All right, let's see what we can do. So, what we can do is basically charge forward. It's very narrow here, we're just gonna have to go for it, man, and hope we don't take two huge losses here. Uh, let's make a plan here. Maybe this uh, Fusilier Regiment, 3rd Fusilier Regiment, are going to be tasked with clearing Hill 2 219. And then they will sort of advance here, I guess. And the other two regiments will basically just go for these, I guess. Uh, we could have one trying to sneak by here. Go for this. And then, once, and then that 3rd Regiment will join in the fray and will capture this. And hopefully we can surround the enemy. So we won't go for direct attack on the cemetery. We'll we'll go flank attacks, I think. Let's just try that out. This this is a fifty point hex there. All right. What else do we need to know? We need to know victory. All right. Not that bad. Three hundred points for major. All right. So what do we got here? Hundred, two hundred, and three. So just by capturing all the objectives and, and not take a single casualty <laughs> dream on uh, that's 300 points okay so that's a major so that means we're gonna have to cause a shitload of casualties on the enemy as well um, and not be annihilated ourselves all right all right let's move out man what do we got okay here's something interesting okay we got marsh that's bad swamp okay so this is Hampered move. Yeah, there was a lot of that going on. Kursk. Pretty bad terrain. Uh, what's the visibility here? Okay, we just lot. There's a pretty big visibility. Okay, what about scouts? This is important. We need scouts, man. We don't have any scouts. Which is really bad. We, re I mean, we desperately need scouts here. We can't scout the enemy out anywhere. Okay, what kind of air force we have here? Let's have a look. Uh, weather? We got uh, soft conditions, eight hexes there. Uh, okay, so that's looking okay. What about airstrikes and stuff? Uh, we have one recon here. Problem is that we can plot it. We won't see it until our next turn. So I think we should wait by, because we don't really know. We'll see if we get fired upon as soon as we move out here. All right, so this is a stream, I guess. We, should, we could, should be able to cross this. Uh, so they will, maybe they should like really sneak it like that and then just attack up the hill. Let's see what they can do that. All right, let's move out. Okay, so they got trucks and stuff. Uh, we probably wouldn't have to ditch our transport once we get to this, go on foot. I'm not sh okay, we got 30 turns. Okay, we should be able to make it with, without travel mode. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, let's get those guys out there. Here is the... Uh, First group, all right. Let's get them moving there. Okay, these guys are actually mounted on their trucks. How far can they move and deploy? All right, let's get them up here. How many are popped? There's 144 men there. Interesting. Okay, what else? 
Um, so the first regiment, right? Uh, yes, yeah, all these guys. It's a pretty big regiment. Let's get the engineers moving. No mines yet. Uh, let's see how far they can go. Right, they can go to the same hex. So we should, maybe we're overstacked here. Now since 180, there's a, there's actually a factor there that will take extra casualties. So stacking is important here. Amount of men in, in every hex. Let's look at the parameter data again. Uh, Yeah, so let's see. What is the scale now in uh, Panzer Battles? I think it's 250 meters a hex. Panzer Battles is two kilometers. Yeah, I think that's the case. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's see. What else? Who is this? All right, so they. Okay, so that's a pretty big regiment there, man. Okay, uh, let's keep uh, sneaking over here. Okay, those guys in trucks as well. I kind of feel dangerous to. To leave them in, in travel mode because I think the Russians already have eyes on us. Okay, here's a met tank guns. This is interesting. They're part of the uh, those engineers. It's gonna be so dangerous to move here, man. I feel obliged to, to dismount them every <laughs> every time. Uh, okay, let's look at the visibilities here. What we got? Uh, this these could be good for because that hill is a lot higher. Um, so we can spot these hexes, but we can't spot the top of the hill here. We need to be over on this hill. This is, this hill has some good, is it, wow, look at that. Wow, they have eyes on the whole valley there. Oh man, so visibility is going to be a problem here now. Um, yes, yeah, so we can only spot them, those there. There could be bunkers here. Let's see, look at those. Uh, we have two of those um, infantry guns. All right, how far can they... We, we can get them over here. Very dangerous, though, to leave them in travel mode there. Uh, all right, let's get our flak guns moving with our forces. All right, uh, what is the command range of this headquarters? All right, they have massive c command range, which is great. But we still need to keep them somewhat close to the action. Think. Let's get them over these grass here, pop them down there. All right, we do have this. This is nice. Uh, well, we need that for it, the attack. Let's actually have that in travel mode over there. Mortars, sneak them over here. And we have another machine gun uh, platoon here. This is good. Uh, Get them over there, All right? We have mortars. They only have range nines. We definitely need to get them close to the action there. That should be the whole regiment there. Um, and we have some engineers. We have okay. Here's our recon. Let's, let's try and get them up close. They have motorbikes. Okay, so they need to get up there. We have some extra engineers in reserve here. We do need every single engineer, I think. Okay, we got a hit. Right, airstrike. Nine men was killed already. We're on top of this railroad here. All right. Um, let's see. All right, so they're moving. They're going to be moving ahead of this and smash up that hill there. All right, okay. And this regiment will hug this side, I guess, and try and sneak in there. That regiment was supposed to be funneling into here. Smash up. The this looks dangerous. Maybe they have to clear that. I think they, this regiment needs to clear that hill first. Let's go. See if they can do it. All right, let's just charge forward. Um, probably might need our trucks. I'm not sure. Um, not so sure. I don't, I don't know. Uh, Let's get those in there. Let's get our anti tank guns. What else? We have those nice infantry guns. Let's deploy them. Flak. I just get a bad feeling about this, man. 
We're probably going to get so hammered here. Why can't we deploy there? Uh, cannot deploy in current terrain. Okay, why not? Okay, apparently we cannot deploy there for some reason. All right. Um, right, we have more mortars in the back. Let's get them up there. And the machine gun platoon. Definitely get that going. Nice. All right. And these guys will, will advance on this edge. Let's see. Um, maybe we can storm up with our trucks here. I'm trying to do fast attack here. So dangerous though. I mean, I, since they're not in, in travel mode at the start, I get a feeling that you shouldn't because we're going to get, I think we're going to get hammered right off the bat here. Let's, okay, let's advance by foot. Or uh, we do have our trucks with us, but um, they are. Uh, they're not, what's the range here? 20 range. Okay. Um, all right. Everything is within range of the Nerval Warfers. I think we're fine. Uh, I don't think I need to. Actually, hold on. They're not. Okay. We can actually reach all these. No, we can't reach that hill, but we can reach. Let's leave the number of us because it's probably going to take ages to set them up and stuff. Um, right, we moved. All right, just charge! Okay, no mines so far. Okay, we do have these bad boys as well. Um, let's leave them in the front there. Okay, the Mata's, move them up there. Bridge can sort of stay in the back there. Um, that's the headquarters. Flak. Let's get that actually a bit closer. Definitely get these guns moving. And them. Let's move them on the road. More mortars. Let's keep them here. Yeah, let's leave them. He was fine. I don't think I need to move him. His command range is huge. So I think he's going to be fine. Uh, let's see. I think that's all the units. Um, let's see here. Ask before advancing, please. Yes. Um, all right. Let's end it.